All right, bring it in. Huddle up. Here's what we're going to do. On offense, we're going to run the gun trips tight end like we typically do. But on defense, we're actually going to try something new. All right, wait just a second here, coach. Something new? Yep, something new. Ready, break. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be doing chaos coaching, which is going to be a little bit less edited than our other types of videos. We're just going to be focusing on breaking down what we're doing throughout the game on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And I don't want to take too much time on this intro. I just want to quickly here go through our abilities. We usually go through our full lineup, but we'll just do that in the next Chaos Coaching. I just want to quickly get into the game. So we're just going to go through our abilities, go over our playbooks, and then we'll jump into the game. So for the offensive abilities, we're actually using Bazooka on Rich Gannon. Now, I think Omaha is actually a better X Factor since it allows you to see your opponent's defense. But I really wanted to activate Bazooka, so that's what we're going with. We have Gunslinger and Hot Route Master as well. Now, for Alvin Kamara, we have Backfield Master, but Backfield Mismatch would have worked just as well because we have Hot Route Master on Gannon. But since it was only 1 AP for Master, we went with that. Jerry Rice, we have Double Meat and Route Technician. Randy Moss, we have deep out and deep in elite along with that double me as well. And with your Michael Finley, we have matchup nightmare. That's it for our offensive abilities. Now for the defensive abilities. We have one step ahead on Rob Woodson. We have one step ahead and acrobat on Charles Woodson, who's going to be in the slot for us. And then we have one step ahead and acrobat on Isaiah Simmons, who's actually going to be an outside linebacker for us. So that's it for the defensive abilities. Now to get over to the playbooks. We're going to be in the Raiders offense for the entire video since we're only playing games on current gen no next gen games today and then we're going to be in the 4-6 defense which is our new defensive playbook because it features the nickel 335y which is our main defense right now and you're actually able to audible from nickel 335 in order to get safeties in at linebacker for when you're in the nickel 335 wide so that's it for the team let's jump into the game here we go with game one you see our team you see their team here we go and we're actually going to be starting this one on offense here but i wanted to note you can go into your settings before you even go into the game and taking a look at your coin toss options as the first option if you win the coin toss i like to put kickoff and as the second option i like to put against the win i believe if you do against the win in the second quarter and the fourth quarter you'll have the wind at your back if you need a game winning field goal or anything like that i just like to recommend that now i'm gonna i'm gonna be starting on offense for this one but i also want to stress here that when you go into your play, uh, your plays at the very beginning of the game, I like to do the subs. I like to do the audibles. Both those things are really important. So you make sure you have the right players in the right spots and so that you can audible to a different play if you don't come on to play that you necessarily want to run. And they're going to be starting the game in the nickel 335Y, which is actually the defense we're going to be running as well. You can run zone from this. You can run man coverage. A lot of different things that you can do. Ooh, we have the hitch. Let's go, Bo. Let's go, Bo. Let's go, Bo. We're just going to run inside zone here to try to pick up this first down. They do have inside stuff. We're able to get some yards there. But since they have the inside stuff, I'm probably not going to be running inside zone a ton. We did have some yards there, so maybe we can go back to it, but it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to try to try to avoid a decent amount of just because you don't want to get inside stuff uh, to tackle you in the back for like a three or four yard loss, right? You don't want to start your drive that way or even just in the middle of your drive. You just don't want to uh, get behind on the sticks like that. So we're going to do our best to try to avoid running inside zone. I think we have our crosser. I think we have our crosser. Jerry, you get our feet down. We didn't get our feet down. That's cool. We're going to go back to this slander post setup here. I like the way that it looked the first time around. Ooh, I don't like, we don't have anything there. Bo, Bo, that, that's just Bo making a play. That is just Bo making a play. They did a good job adjusting there. It actually looked like they had a three rec on the outside. If you bluff blitz a blitzing linebacker, which the outside linebackers are blitzing on the play that they're calling it looks like, you can get a three rec out there, which is actually something we like to do as well. And I'll talk about that a little bit more on our drive. But since, since they're doing that, it can do a good job taking away the middle of the field. Looking for our tight end here. Nope, not going to have it. Can we get a playmaker? We get a playmaker? Nope, 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 nope. We're just going to go out of bounds. We're just going to go out of bounds. I actually probably should have just thrown the ball away there. It would have been probably the same result with, of no gain. But when you take a hit with your quarterback, you actually get them fatigued. And when they get too fatigued, it actually can uh, actually can mess up their gunslinger a little bit. So that's not something that I want to get in the habit of doing. Now, it didn't look like they had a flat on the outside there. So we're going to look to um, either put a, put a taper out and a corner out over there to try to see if they, we can take advantage of that. They have the flat this time, but I actually think we have Randy. Oh, I kind of wanted to try Randy Moss on that. We're actually will take off this time. We're able to get out of bounds without taking a hit. I kind of wanted to try Randy on that post going across the field, but you know what? We don't want to force anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try to attack that flat again. Like I said before, they didn't let they had uh, a flat over there. They did this last play, but if they do it again here, they might not. And we can either go for the table route or to our tight end out route. We'll look for either one here. Then we have Camara. We have Camara. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We just want to continue to move the chains on these first opening drives. They're usually going to be feel out drives. Like you don't know exactly what your opponent's going to want to do. Well, are they going to blitz a lot? Are they going to play a lot of coverage? Are they going to play man coverage? Are they going to play zone? They're playing a lot of zone. They're not blitzing a lot so far. So that's what we. That's how I feel the drive's going. We have our drag. 
But we're going to continue to just try to adapt to what our opponent does. As they stay in zone and not blitzing, we don't really have to worry about keeping our running back in. And we can try to do our best to put out some route combos that beat uh, whatever zone that they're in. It looks like they've been in cover three for the most part. And we have our out route. We have our out route. And sometimes they've had a flat to the right that looks like a, a cloud flat. And sometimes it looks like that was like a 20 yard flat. I haven't seen a hard flat yet. I haven't seen a hard flat. So until we see that, I'm going to continue to try to put things that can go to the hard flat, whether it be a table route or a drag. And that time they do. That time they do. Doesn't look like we have anything. Ooh, we actually had the curl. We're just going to take off. We're just going to take off. If I get a few, just slide. Don't want to take any hits with our QB. They've done a really solid job of making us work on this drive, taking underneath routes. I think we have our slant. I think we have our slant. Nice catch. They've been doing a great job of making us work. We have to continue to try to take anything that's open, even if it's underneath, and then see if we can get in the end zone right here. We're going back to the inside zone here. I did say we might go back to it, even though they have that inside stuff. Ooh, and they're able to get away. That's the thing. A lot of the players that have inside stuff, they're not going to be as fast as your running back. So even though it might disrupt the path that you're going on, you can sometimes get away. Now, we didn't there, but... It, we can go back to that at some point if we need it, just like a yard or two. And if we make the right cut, maybe we can get in. Now, this looks like zone coverage still. They audible to something. Players were moving around, so I'm not sure what that was. We're just going to go to a spacing concept and hope we can get one of our hitches. And they did perfect adjustments. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna roll out here. Throw the ball away. They had perfect adjustments right there to stop us. So we don't want to force anything here. It's the first drive of the game. We don't know what they're going to do on offense. So if we have to take three, we will. But ideally, we get seven here. I'm actually looking for Bo Jackson in the slot. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for Bo Jackson in the slot. If we can't get it, I don't want to force it. That's our first read. I think we have it. I think we have Bo. Bo, nice catch, Bo. All right. That was a long first drive. It took longer than the first quarter. We're into the second quarter already. But we'll definitely take a touchdown on our first drive. Now we want to see what they're going to do on the offensive side of the ball. It's going to be more of a field out drive again there. We'll see what we can do. Like I already mentioned, we're going to be coming out on the 3-3-5 and then audibling to the nickel 3-3-5 wide. And they're coming out on this gun spread, which is a very effective passing formation. You can do a lot of different things from it. So we're, again, we're just going to be trying to feel out what they're doing. They just threw the running back there. So we, that was our responsibility. But as we continue to try to like see what their main route combos are, we can try to take them away. We're just going to start in man coverage and then adjust from there. Now, we have Isaiah Simmons at that outside linebacker spot. That is a one step ahead. So we have to try to utilize that even against the gun spread. It's more suited for someone that usually has a tight end. But since they don't, we'll try to make do with that. Even though, okay, they're actually going to audible in a bunch here. So this is more so what, what the one step ahead of the linebackers for. So we can put them on the tight end and then we can just use her in the middle of the field. So I don't think that, oh, oh. D'Angelo Hall! I thought, at first I thought it was a super dot, and then I was like, okay, we probably will knock that out, and then D'Angelo Hall somehow makes the pick and gets their feet down. Definitely will take that, and you know what? I've said this before, when you get a, a turnover, I actually like to try to go over the top, so that's what we're going to try to do here. We're looking for Randy Moss, so I'm going to try to roll out to the right, so we're going to try to get a double team here. They're shifting their line away, so that actually should help us be able to get the deep pass to Randy Moss. I think we have it. I think we have it. I think we have it. We don't. What am I doing? No. No. We gave the ball right back. I thought we had it. I thought we had it. We didn't. And that's why. You know what? It's chaos coaching. I'm just going to say it right now. That was not a throw that I should have made. Absolutely not. That was not the right read. And we just gave the ball right back right after the stop. I do like to go deep and try to pick up a big game after a stop. But if it's not there, it doesn't mean you force it, right? I mean, that's just not the play you want to do. Oh, wow. That was a nice play. Oh! Ooh. okay okay that was tough that was tough all right a little bit of a little bit of a turn of events here right a little bit of a turn of events we get the stop and then we proceed to throw a pick and they score in the next play that's not what we wanted that is not what we wanted great a great move with them with our running back really nice stick work they evened it up here it's gonna be their ball at half so with this 159 left, we have to try to get an answer right here. We're looking for our crosser right here, but if they take that away, we should have our angle route underneath. That's what we're looking for either one here. Oh, ooh, I think we actually did have the crosser. I thought that that flat was going to play it, but it actually kind of jumped back in a little bit there, so I'm not sure what the read was. Nice defense, though. Nice defense. They've been they've kind of been making different adjustments throughout the game, which is keeping us on our toes. They haven't just been doing the same thing, so it's hard for me to judge what they're doing. And uh, we just have to continue to try to put routes out there that can beat man and beat zone. And then kind of go from there. We're looking for our slant here. Nope, we're not going to have it. We'll just take the hitch. We'll just take the hitch. Let's go, Bo. Let's go, Bo. Ooh, we have a third down here. We don't want to give the ball back. All right, we, we got stopped on uh, on the last drive. And then we gave up a touchdown. So we don't want to just get stopped right back. But we don't want to make any mistakes either and give them the ball right here. So we'll see what we can do on this play to try to pick up these two yards. I don't want to run the inside zone against the inside stuff. So we're just going to try to look for a short pass here. Either to our table route, our corner route, or our slant. 
We have neither. We have neither. Yeah, that Randy Moss route looks like it's there. We're just going to throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. I didn't want to make any mistakes there. Fourth and two. This is probably the biggest play of the game so far. This is probably the biggest play of the game so far. We have two timeouts, so I don't want to... I don't want to take, I was going to say maybe we should take a timeout there, but I don't want to take it. If we do get this first down, I'd like to have a chance at seven or even just making sure we get three. So we, we kind of need our timeouts right now. Well, I'm actually just going to go to a little bit of a spacing concept. Really just straight spacing across the field with curls and hitches and then try to pick whichever one's open. I think we have Bo. I think we have Bo low pass to try to get a possession catch. Now right there, I actually was playing earlier and I actually had a game where, uh, I'm just going to run the ball inside zone here. Nope, that's, that, that wasn't the right play. I should have just taken time out. I tried to get on the ball and go hurry up. We should have just taken our time out. But I had a game earlier where we threw the ball on a fourth down like that, and we didn't low ball it. And we go, we got the possession catch, but we got hit before we could uh, fall down. And we ended up just uh, getting hit and knocking the ball out. So I want to just low, uh, low pass it there to make sure we get that catch. Because that was a big play. And if we drop that pass and we give them the ball back right there, they're already in field goal range with a chance of seven. So we didn't want to do that. Uh, right there so we made sure to low pass it now I don't have time to flip I don't like running this from the short side usually but I don't really have time to flip without calling timeout we're looking for our slant again here nope we have Bo we have Bo another fourth down I'm gonna call timeout now we're on another fourth down and uh, I don't want to go to the same exact play we just went to because they're probably going to be expecting it so we're gonna go to a different play but ideally here we're able to get you know I actually have a play I have a play ideally here we're able to get like 10 and get out of bounds so I'm going to go to an out route to our tight end. I think we should have it. But worst comes to worst, we need to make sure we at least pick up the first down so we don't give them the ball back. We have the table route. We have the table route. Woo! And we're able to get a bounce. That's perfect. That is perfect. We're really close to field goal range now. Now, we don't have to worry about uh, like turning it over on downs because by the time we're on fourth down, the clock's probably going to be out soon. But we do have to worry about making any mistakes. And we do have to worry about just making sure that we try to get out of bounds to make sure we get to get time to kick our field goal right so we're going to the same exact play i'm looking for this out route to the tight end if they do the hard flat 25 yard purple like they have been ooh, we have the table out again and we're able to get out of bounds they a lot of for a lot of the game they've had this hard flat with like a 20 to 25 yard purple and when they do that we should have our out route outside but we don't we don't want to enforce it here because they tried to use right there so if need be we just need to we i think we can get a spike off so we can throw the ball in bounds but we just have to be careful. I think we have the out route. I think we have the out route. We have it. We have it. Can we get a toe tap out of bounds? Yes. That's the exact animation that we want. Now we have 14 seconds. We have 14 seconds. If we take a sack here, we, we might not even get a playoff. Ah, uh, this is a tough spot. This is a tough spot. They haven't blitzed us all game. So I don't know if I really have to be worried about the blitz. But we are going to block our running back. And we're going to double team here. We're just going to roll right straight to the right. That's what we're going to do. And that way we can just throw the ball away if we need to. Just stand here, stand here, stand here. Throw the ball away. All right. So eight seconds left. Now we will just take our three. I don't want to force anything downfield and just get it like another pick trying to get a touchdown or anything like that. So we'll just take our three here. Both drives, they've done a great job of just making us work, keeping everything in front of them. They've done a really good job of that. So in the second half, we have to just continue to try to be diligent and take our underneath routes when they're there. And if we get something over the top, great. But if not, we have to be able to make our reads. That does make us, like, it, when when you have, when you're taking stuff that's underneath all game, that makes you, like, pass the ball more and more and more. And the more passes that we have, the more chances we have of mistakes. So we have to be careful. But, again, we can't just force the ball downfield like we did and force another interception. So we'll see what we can do in the second half. We have four seconds here, but we'll just try to do our best and get to this halftime. Now, to start this half, we're going to have to watch this inside zone. Great job there making a play from Simmons. But we have to watch for that. And um, they went no huddle. They, we have to watch for that because that's how they got a big, big play last uh, last drive, right? Last um, last half. So we have to continue to watch that as the game goes on and don't want to make any mistakes on any big plays like that. We want to do what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball, which is make us work the entire time and try to do our best to get a stop. And that's a laser. That is a laser. Oh, no. That's not keeping everything in front. We When they go to that bunch, we really want our one step ahead to be on that... Uh, on that tight end so we're actually going to switch isaiah simmons here to keep uh simmons to the wide side because i believe when they go to that bunch they want the bunch to be the wide side so as long as we keep simmons over there that should be the matchup that we have and then we're going to shake down and get this bluff blitz three wreck again if you bluff blitz a blitzing linebacker you'll get a three wreck out there so as long as we keep simmons on that side we should be okay and simmons is actually also the one that's in man coverage which is we want that one step ahead that's why we have the one step ahead right we want that linebacker to be in man coverage as they throw the ball away so that's what we're going to do we're going to continue to keep simmons to the wide side and if we can do that then when they go to bunch we'll have them on the tight end and then they, we also have them in man coverage here on this outside receiver so as you see it's kind of like 
Simmons is essentially lining up like another slot corner over there, which is what I like. So I can just watch the mid, uh, the inside zone myself, and then the three rec can help me watch the middle of the field. I'm watching this slant. Able to get back to it. Oh, I thought they threw the underneath. Ooh, that was close. I thought they threw the underneath route, which I thought we were going to be on. That was actually not a bad read. That actually could have been a touchdown. I just got a little bit of excited there, but we're going to keep this three back. I feel like the three backs doing a good job of helping us. They auto into this bunch now. And as you see, we have Simmons on that side to stop the tight end on any routes that they might put out there. That's exactly where we want Simmons. So we'll continue to move around our one step aheads uh, as long as we have to. Oh, let's go. We have a fourth down. We have a fourth down right here. This is one of the biggest plays of the game so far. If we can get off the field and get a stop, we'll have a chance to go up two possessions to go up 10 here. So we'll see what they do on their fourth down. They're probably going to give uh, come out on their best play. They're actually going to come out on the bunch right away. So we're probably going to get their best play right here. Just because on a fourth down, I feel like the majority of the time, you're going to want to put your best play out there, right? Whatever that play is, it's going to be the play that you know you need to pick up a fourth down on. So that's what I'm expecting here. I'm watching. And it should be taken away. Oh, and that's a laser. That is a laser. Okay, instead of a three wreck from now on, I might put a vert hook or a hook, or a hook curl to try to stop that because I feel like uh, if we had a vert hook there like we see there, that would actually have stopped that in round. I'm watching the running back now. I have to watch the running back though because no one's actually manned up to the running back as you see. Makes a really nice read. We have to continue to mix up the zones that we do from that linebacker and then maybe even mix in some zone from the nickel 335 wide as well. They're doing a great job. That was a great conversion. We got to try to get a stop. They're going back to the spread here. I have to watch the running back again. Oh, that's a dot. No, and they're going to get in. Oh, no, that is a laser. All right. Well, we're down four here. We were able to get off the field and get a stop. We have to try to answer. We're going to be looking here to pick up a big chunk. But again, I don't want to force the ball if it's not there. So we're looking for B going across. Then we're going to have B. Then we're going to have B. We should have it. Can we get a toe tap. Nice job, Jerry Rice. All right. We were able to get a big gain there, which is what... That's what we were looking for, right? We were looking to pick up a big chunk because we had been throwing underneath a lot, but we have to make sure to be careful here because they're doing a good job of forcing us to throw underneath. So when they do that, we have to take what's there. I'm going to do this out route that we've been doing from the tight end uh, the last half. So if they do that 10 yard, like, and then, well, excuse me, the, the hard flat with like the 15 to 20 yard purple, it could be there. We have the table. We have the table. Nice toe tap again, Kamara. We're going to quick hike this play. I think it's important to have quick hike plays. And I'll tell you why here. Ooh, I thought we had B. I thought we had B. We're just going to take off. We're going to take off. Just run out. Ooh, we do not want to take any hit sticks. I was going to say, though, I think it's important to have quick hike plays. And the reason for that is I feel like it can catch your opponent off guard. It does not give them time to adjust like you're usually doing. So a lot of my plays, they take a long time, right? We do some motions. We do some hot routes. A lot of different adjustments. But then we can also mix in a play where we just kind of do like one hot route. And from there, we can... um hike before they get their adjustments off so i think it's important to have both plays that you can really go in depth on and change up a lot but then also plays where you can hike very quickly so this one's one of the more, one of the more long plays looking for our out route we should have our out route can we get a toe tap nice job finley all right we're down to the 10 this is a tough spot to be in this is a tough spot to be in we're probably gonna run the ball a little bit more than we did last time we were close to not getting a touchdown we'll see what we can do we're actually gonna audible down to this i form close here we're going to this power o i think the power o could be a solid run against whatever they're doing we'll see if they have run defense for it oh and they do they do it might have been a run commit but regardless it is good defense we're gonna take this to the end of the quarter we're in a tough spot here if we don't get seven we could be in a difficult position giving the ball back last time we were down here we got bo jackson the seam we're looking for it again here we don't have it this time playmaker playmaker oh we did not want to take a sack there we did not want to take a sack again if we can get half back maybe i can go for it here but if we end up taking three we can just try to get a stop on defense but we are in a difficult position now, and I think I'm going to look for the seam route. I'm going to look for the seam route to Jerry, and if we don't get it, we don't get it, but we don't want to force it. Oh, we have our post. I think we have it. I think we have it. Finley! Finley! Oh, that was so close. Three-yard line. All right, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it because if we get the ball back here on the three, I like the position that we're in because it's going to be tough to be a tough spot for them to be in. Oh, wow. This is really tough. This is super duper tough. Uh, they've they've done a great job during these drives of stopping us down here in the red zone. I don't want to waste. Ooh, I'm glad they took a timeout. I wanted to take a timeout there, but I didn't want to waste it. If we didn't score, we kind of need all three timeouts. So I am really glad that they took that. Now we have a full 30 second clock to be able to adjust. And it looks like they're in man coverage. They're in man coverage, which I really like. But since they're in man, we're going to have a running back on an option. And then we'll have a slant going across the field. And we're looking for our option. And we're looking for our slant. We might even have our post in the backside, but we'll see. Ooh, this is tough. We have nothing. We have nothing. Boss! No, that was such good defense. That was such good defense. Really nice adjustment from them. All right, we didn't get our score. 
We didn't get our score, but we have 252 left here. So we have some time, but this is a difficult... We're, remember, I want to keep Isaiah Simmons on the wide side, but we are in a really hard spot here because if we don't get off the field, we're likely going to lose the game. So we'll see what we can do here. And okay, you know what? Oh, Team Ace! Good tackle, good tackle. You know what? I guess maybe not keeping Isaiah Simmons to the wide side. They're only putting the uh, the running back on the right when they go to that spread. So I'm just going to keep Isaiah Simmons on the right for the whole game now. So that's what we're changing up to. A little bit of change strategy. But this is a tough, this is a really tough spot to be in because I feel like, I feel like if they get two first downs, they win the game. We do have our timeouts, which is nice. And that inside zone's working really well. And so is Reese. Reese has played really well for them. Trucking and then still has the speed. They're probably going to take this to the two minute warning. We have our three timeouts. We need to stop right now. I have to watch the running back here, but we also are going to shift our line to try to stop that inside zone. We want to make them pass the ball as much as we can. And I think this is actually going to probably be a run, but we'll see. Nope, it's going to be a pass. So we have to watch. We have to watch that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we go out of bounds? Yes. All right, that's good. That's good. I know that we would probably, we probably would rather them go out of bounds than getting them no gain. I'd rather give up the three yards than give up nothing and I have to take a timeout there. So I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. They're going to bunch here. They're going to bunch. Oh, I wanted to make up the running back, but I didn't get it. Watching the in route. Can we get a pick on that night? I'll take the knockout. I will definitely take the knockout. That's another stop clock here. We have a third and seven. Ah, what do we want to do here? All right, we're going to stay in the man coverage. We're going to stay in the man coverage. That's what's been working for us so far this game. And we're going to shift the line to try to stop the run. And I just want to do my best here to try to lurk the middle of the field myself. Oh, nice read. That was a really quick read. The running back, is that going to be a fourth down? Is that going to be a fourth down? Oh, they got the first. But you know what? Since, since they actually got the incompletion that went out of bounds, we still have timeouts. And we're actually still in the game. We're actually still in the game here. We're going to let this clock run. But we have our three timeouts. We're just gonna, we got we to gotta continue to do our best to stop this run on this inside zone, which I don't know how to shoot the gap on yet. I really don't. So we're just going to be kind of guessing as we go here. But I expect them to run the ball. They've had a success running this inside zone pretty much throughout the entire game. And I expect them to go back to it here. Oh, they're going to pass. I don't see anything. Can we get a knockout on that? Yes. All right. That's another stop clock. So I probably should have taken a timeout when they got the first down, right? But that's okay. That is okay. If they want, if they keep passing the ball, I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. Actually, they're, oh, oh, we got to shift the line back, shift the line back. Mm, okay. They're going a bunch now. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. I don't have the one step on the tight end at all. So I have to watch the tight end. We don't have the one step on it. Laser. Laser, we got to take a timeout. Since they had another incompletion, we're still actually technically in this game. But they've done a great job of dotting. Their, their audible into this bunch has been very successful for them. And it's helped them to get the one step off of their off of their tight end, which is what I think they're going to do again now. But actually, no, actually, we have it. We have the way we want it. We're going to man up the running back. I'm shading. Um, we, we, we can all, all we can do is try to force incompletions and to try to stop the clock. Can we get a fumble, baby. Ooh, all right, we're going to take a timeout. I would probably would have rather them just throw the ball away there, which is smart for them to take the tackle. We have a chance to get back in this game, but it's going to be tough. I'm watching here down the middle. We got a quick shed. We got a quick shed. Okay, they're probably just going to run the ball here. It's going to be really hard to pick up a third and 20, right? So I actually expect them to, to probably just run the ball, and we'll have like 20 seconds. We'll have like 20 seconds, which again, isn't the most ideal, but it's better It's better than not having a chance at it, right? So we'll, we'll just do what we can here. And I mean... We have we have our man we have our pass defense out there so if somehow we they get a completion go out of bounds maybe an incompletion that would be great but if we end up getting the ball back with 25 seconds we'll have a chance at it we'll just see what we can do I probably expect them they're they're likely gonna run the ball oh they're gonna pass so maybe they'll take a sack I'm not sure we get a swat on that we got oh we got a pick I, I don't know what I don't know I guess that's probably better that's probably better than the swat that's probably better than the swat Shanti that's probably better than the swat. We got a chance at it. 48 seconds. Left. I don't even know what I'm going to do, but we have a chance at it. Our main priority here is to try to get out of bounds. We're not going to have anything out of bounds. We're not going to have anything out of bounds. We'll just throw the ball away. We don't want to, we don't really want to complete anything inbounds unless it's for a decent gain for a first down. So mainly here, we're just looking, we're looking for anything out of bounds or a big play. And they, they had a cloud flat and a hard flat on the right side there, which was a nice play. Here, I feel like we, what we could get is this deep post. Or maybe the curl out on the backside. We'll look for either one. Ah, I wanted to try Jerry. I wanted to try Jerry. That time they did. That time they didn't have the cloud. The cloud flat there. That time they didn't have the cloud flat. Maybe I'll do it without motioning over the corner route. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We have the out route there, and we're looking for either corner route, or the smoke screen, or the out route. 
We have the out route. We have the out route. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Finley, nightmare, matchup nightmare, or I think, yeah, matchup nightmare. That's all that was, really. That's all that was, because that was not open. I thought they didn't have the cloud fight out there, and they did. So that was not open at all. That is on me. That is not, we'll, we'll definitely take the catch, though. We will definitely take the catch. So right here, ah, I'm, I'm at a loss here. We kind of have to go to the end zone or get out of bounds. We kind of have to go to the end zone or get out of bounds here. I'm going to put this slant on the field just to kind of maybe make them lurk low. But I'm probably not throwing it. I'm probably not throwing it. We have that post. No, we didn't have it. I didn't have to force yet. We, we had time. But at some point, we kind of had to go to the end zone. I thought that was there. I thought it was a two-man under. It looked like maybe, maybe it was a two-man under, but they played it really shallow because the end zone was there. Or maybe it was, um, maybe one of those was a middle third. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look at it. We can actually, we actually go to the replay and try to get a look at it for that last play. But we're, we're going to play a second game here. We're going to play a second game. I'd like to get a look at that last play just for you all to see. So we'll jump into the replay here just to look at it and we'll go to the next game. So I'm looking at the replay here and it does look like it's a middle third. They dropped here and, th and that's what made me think, okay, deep half. So I thought we might have this post like right in this little pocket area in the middle. But then as you see, kind of starts bouncing back to the middle. So that makes me think it was a deep third that just kind of shifted to the right a little bit to kind of hover over that corner route and then bounce back to its middle third zone. So really nice play. We actually had our slant maybe going across the field. I don't know if it would have kept going. And that probably was the, the main read on that play. I don't know if we would have gotten a spike if we didn't get to the end zone, but definitely, definitely probably regret throwing that post. I thought it was gonna be a cover two man, but it wasn't. So that's it for this game. We're on to game two. Here we go with game two. We're actually gonna be in our opponent's Super Bowl for this one. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on defense here. And they're going to be in this trips tight end. Ooh, nice read. Nice read. I wasn't able to get there. They're going to be in this trips tight end. So we'll see what we can do. We have this running back cross man here by the opposite linebacker. So I have to watch that table route here that they just threw. If they do that again, so they actually blocked. I'm watching for any delay fades or anything like that. We'll send the spy. So the man coverage turned into a spy there since they were manned up to the running back. But I need to watch that table route early since we're using cross man. But once they, once they get out there, the cross man should be able to get to it. So I only have to watch it for the first couple steps of the play. That's what they threw in the first play. So I'm watching for it again, uh, for it again here. Then go to it. Ooh, we gave up the slam, I think. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, that was close. That was close. That was a nice read. I thought we might have been able to get there a slant. Nice read. Now they're going to this I-form slot, which is a solid running formation. We're able to make the tackle. Definitely a solid running formation. Can give this 3-3-5 wide a little bit of trouble. So I'm glad we got the stop there. We're we'll have to continue to try to adjust and see what our opponent wants to do, right? So they've passed the ball out of this trip side end pretty much every single time. I actually forgot. I want to be switching Simmons over to that tight end. I'm actually going to call timeouts. The first half, so I'm not too worried about losing timeouts. I want to keep Simmons on the tight end side. So I'm just going to assume that they're going to come out on the trips to the wide side every time. If they show differently at some point, then we'll start to adjust it. But for now, I'm going to assume that they're going to come out trips wide side. So we have that one step ahead on the uh, on that tight end side. So you see, we actually have... Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. So we have the cross made again. I have to watch for the running back going out on that table route initially. But once they take a few steps out there, our cross man should get to it. So I'm watching for it here. Ooh, that slant's wide open. That slant's... Oh, they're... Okay, they're looking for the crosser. Nice read there. They had either one there, right? So we made another little adjustment here to put Deion Sanders in that middle slot position. I feel like the Y route, the middle route, is the one that's least used in trip side. And we don't want um, them to have it. I'm going to put... Now that they're on the middle slot again, I'm going to put a purple there to stop any corner routes. Ooh, I'm, I gotta watch the running back. I'm not making the right... I'm not making the right uh, reads with my user on where to go, on what routes to stop. But what I was going to say was, is we want Dion in that middle spot because I feel like those are the least utilized routes. And that's our one route that doesn't, or one defender that doesn't have one step ahead that's going to be against these wide receivers. So that's what we're looking for at when they go to the, uh, when they go to that trip side, end up have Dion in that slot. We're looking for the stretch here. We're going to try to shoot the gap on it. Ooh, I think we have it. I think we have it. Nice job, Team Mays. But now, again, they've, did, they've done a great job driving, but it's still a little bit of a feel out drive to see what they like to do. I do feel like every time they're on the trip side, they're probably going to pass the ball. And then when they go to that I-form slot, they're probably going to run the ball. And I think the adjustment to put Dion in that middle slot hopefully will work. And if they do that motion like we did before, we'll put... Oh, I have to watch the running back. I have to watch the running back. Okay, send it, send it, send it, send it. Oh, no. Ooh, they might have had a chance to make that pass there. I need to be able to put that purple route or a, a flat route on that outside linebacker when they do the motion. Because when they motioned in before, that's when Dion, who I want in the middle spot, motions in as well to be brought to uh, the, the the short slotted position again. And I'll show you what I mean next possession. If I'm being a little bit confusing, I apologize. And we're able to get this down to for, force the fourth down. I'm probably being a little bit confusing here. But next drive, I will show you. Oh, no, oh, no, no. We got to get set up. I'm going to call timeout. I'm going to call timeout. I want to make sure we get set up on this fourth down. And I'll show you all in the next possession what I'm talking about. 
as far as the slot position we're gonna take in their three which is cool we'll definitely take that and now we can see what we can do on offense give me a feel out drive once again it was a feel out drive on defense it's gonna be a feel out drive on offense they are in this nickel double a gap which can give some trouble definitely at times it has really really good pressure out of it but we're looking to go deep here to moss and oh, we're not gonna have it we're definitely not gonna have it. they only send two so you can send pressure out of this but then you can also mix in coverage like they did there sending two so you're kind of you're kind of guessing right okay what are they going to do here are they going to send six are they going to send two are they going to send three and you got to try to make the right decisions each time and if you don't you end up probably throwing the ball away like i did right there and we're gonna go to quick hike play i talked about quick hike plays before oh we might have a touchdown we might have a touchdown oh i passed on it wrong jerry jerry what a catch oh wow that was a great catch from jerry that was a great catch from jerry rice right there okay we'll definitely we'll definitely take that because that was not open it might have been open if i hadn't pass led it or maybe pass led left but i pass led it up right to where the middle safety was and it ended up being a catch for us so we'll gladly take that i should go to the quick hike again We're looking for our corner route outside i think we have a touchdown i think we have a touchdown finley finley let's go all right so what i was talking about before was as you can see Deion sanders is in the slot in the middle but when they motion across and they actually they actually switched assignments right there they're gonna have a dot they actually switched assignments which is not something i want to do so we're gonna try to prevent that but when Deion Sanders is in the middle slot they're up on the wide receiver but if they motion the inside player you see rob woodson right here is actually going to go across with the motion and then Deion Sanders is going to end up being on that slot position right there where the stars you see the Deion Sanders receiver so that's not where we want them so when they do that we have to worry about it. and that's another laser that is another that's why we want the one step ahead to be on the tight end but when they go to that, they can probably put a corner out in and get that open because it's a non one step ahead. So when they do that, I want to try to prevent that by putting the purple. So that's all I meant by uh, by trying to stop that. So when they do that motion, we'll end up probably putting a purple on Taylor Mays oh, like that. That's what we probably end up will doing, end up doing. But for now, oh, well, they hacked the ball, so we have to keep the purple. And you see there, that purple played that crosser really well. Oh, they might have had the running back right there. I'm not sure. But that's what I was talking about. So if they do that motion again, I'll continue to put that purple. But if they don't do that motion, I don't need to put that since we have the one step ahead on where the corner route will be. I'll just focus on... I'm actually going to put a, a three rec shaded down here. So that three rec shaded down should be able to stop anything over the middle of the field. And I can lurk the running back. Ooh, they got... They beat the press. They got, they got a great release off the line right there. And we're actually able to beat the three rec and the press. So hopefully they can continue to do that. Uh, if they do if they do get open like that, I will have to bounce back and try to stop it. But we'll just rely on them not getting that good of a release each each and every time. We'll put that three wreck back again uh, because I feel like the three wreck could have played well. It looked like there was a little bit of a bump. And then you know what? Nope, we're putting the purple. You see there with that motion, the non one step ahead is matched up to B. So we don't want to give up any corner routes. Dion did a great job right there. Let's go. I have to continue to watch the running back right here. We don't have anyone manned up to them. But again, I don't have to lurk there the entire time. I only have to just make it look like I'm taking it away. So what I'm doing as I put the purple back here, so what I'm doing is I'm going down to the running back each time you see here, and then I'm kind of bouncing back. I'm looking for anything in the middle of the field. Now there's nothing. So we're, oh, I thought we, I thought we, I thought we got them to throw it to us. We weren't able to get back. So that was actually my plan was to try to just move back towards the middle. If there was anything there, we would, um, we would try to take it away, but there wasn't anything coming our way. So I tried to get back in time. And we weren't able to do it so that's a super dot we're going to, have to try to answer back right here we do have 201 we're out of timeout since i use them a lot for just different scenarios we'll see what we can do i'm actually expecting heavy pressure right here and they actually didn't i was expecting heavy pressure they hadn't sent pressure a ton yet this game so i was expecting them to do it there to try to pick up like a couple of early yards maybe get a sack and get like second and 13 but they didn't do it there so we're going to continue to just really, really we're just guessing the entire time of what they're going to do are they going to are they going to blitz are they going to play coverage and now we're just gonna quick hike to try to prevent them from getting any adjustments. Ooh, I actually think we had that corner out there if they didn't use it. Nice job. Now I don't want to give them the ball back here since we're losing. It is gonna be our, our ball at halftime, but we don't want to give them a chance to get a two possession lead. So it's actually a really important third and five. I'm probably gonna plan on them not sending uh, pressure here. If they do send pressure, the, the two reads that I'm really looking for are the table route and then the post route. Those are my two main reads. They didn't send the pressure, so that's good. And we have our slant. Nice job, Jerry Rice. All right. Now that we have that first down, we can kind of relax a little bit just because I, I don't want to have to worry about giving them the ball back and giving up a two possession lead. Now let's see if we can get a score. Looking to get a big gain over here on the outside to our post. I don't know if we have it or not. We'll try it. Derry, way to go. That was an awesome catch from Jerry Rice. I was not sure if we had that or not, but Rich Gannon put the perfect throw there that Jerry Rice could get it and they weren't able to get a pick on it. And now we have a chance of seven. Before I was going to say without the timeouts, we're probably going to have to settle for three. But now that we got that big game, we actually probably have a chance at seven here. So we'll see what the look they give us. I do expect them to send some pressure here soon. They haven't been sending much pressure at all. 
So I do expect that soon. I don't know when it'll be, but I don't want to give up a sack here and get knocked out of field goal range because I want at least a field goal, especially with it being our ball at halftime. So I think if eventually they'll start mixing some cover, uh, pressure, but we'll wait and see. Ooh, that was... Now, nope, 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 throw the ball away. We got to throw the ball away. I thought we actually had that tight end there. I didn't see a deep third before, so we're looking for this post going deep to Moss. I think we're going to have Moss. Oh, no. Moss got knocked down. Moss got knocked down. We have to throw the ball away. We have to throw the ball away here. Moss got knocked down on their route, and that was the route that we were looking for. They were in a cover zero, so I thought we were going to have that skinny post going deep, but we didn't get it. They got knocked down, so we kind of just, that was our main read on the play, and, uh, when you get knocked down, I guess you, I can't really throw it to you, right? So we'll, we'll take our field goal here. We don't want to give up any points before half. We would have liked to get seven there, but we'll definitely take that, especially with it being our ball at half. Looking for this running back going out. Nope, not there. Watching for a delay fade now too. Oh no. Ooh, I said I was watching for the delay fade, but I bounced back. That post going deep looked like they were coming open. So I'm going to have to watch for that now. I'm going to put a three wreck on the field. The three wrecks should do a decent job at stopping the, at stopping that delay fade there. So I don't have to worry about it as much, but I have to worry about that post now. I definitely have to worry about that post because they look like it was coming open deep for a touchdown. So we'll be, we'll be watching that now. And I have to watch the running back still going out on any table routes, any wheels, anything like that. Just like what they did the end zone before. The three wrecks should be there for the delay fade. Ooh, let's go. We made them throw the ball away. I really don't want to give up points here. I really don't. Because if we give up points, if we don't give up points, we'll have a chance to go up a full seven, a full seven out of halftime, which is exactly what we want. So we'll, be, we'll see what we can do here, but... I have to I have to also be careful to give up a touchdown. If I mess around and give up a touchdown, that could be really bad. I think we can get a knockout on that Simmons. Oh, we have Acrobat on Simmons. I thought we were gonna get that. I said we didn't give up three. Now they're in field goal range. I should probably send some pressure here. I, yeah, I'm gonna probably send some pressure just to try to get a sack. If we don't get it, we wanna keep everything in front. But if we can get some pressure, that'd be great. I'm looking to lurk the seam here. I'm going straight at the seam. Uh-oh, we got a big play. Oh no, I said I wanted to keep everything in front. That's not keeping everything in front. Now they have a chance at seven here if they make a right play. But also, we also have a chance of getting them in bounds. And then they end up uh, not getting anything. So we have a couple options here. We're going to flip Simmons. But we have a couple we have a couple scenarios here where it actually could work out for us. So we'll see how it goes here. I'll try to force them to, uh, to make a mistake. That's what, that's what we're going to try to do here. If we can do that, that'd be great. Uh, but if not, it's, it's not the end of the world since we are having the ball at half. I want to get them in bounds, though. We'll send our zone. And they're gonna throw the ball away. The running back's my responsibility here. I'm watching it. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Ooh! All right, I wasn't, I actually wasn't sure what the rule was on the throwaway there because if it wasn't until the ball touched the ground, then it would be, it probably would have went to zero. But since it looks like as soon as the ball crosses that marker, the clock stops. So they're able to get their field goal. Great drive from them. But it is our ball at halftime, so we'll see what we can do. Since we're not on a hash mark here, we're just going to run inside zone to try to pick up a few. Oh, or pick up a few more. Good job, Kamara. All right. So then we got to a hash mark. We actually picked up some yards there, too. So that's good. Now we can try to put together this drive. It's pretty important that we get seven here because we haven't really shown that we're going to stop them very well. And then we've also not really shown the ability to, uh, the ability to score, like, quickly right so it's not like we can just go right down the field on them oh i think we have the post no we don't have it we're just gonna work the pocket we have camara we have camara let's go i don't know i hope that's not a legal man downfield i hope that's not a legal man downfield we'll see what the call is offensive pass interference I, jerry rice must have bumped the route that's why Kamara, that must have been why camara got open. so we got offensive pass interference but i was saying we haven't shown the capacity we can just go right down the field on them uh so we want to make sure that if we if we can get seven here and kind of give ourselves a little bit of a little bit of room for error if we can't stop them. They sent the blitzer. I said that they were going to start mixing the blitz a little bit more. They haven't blitzed a ton of that double A gap. We're able to get the table out there. And now we're back to a second and ten. We kind of just a little bit of uh just getting the ball, getting the we got our yards right back essentially, which is nice. I'll definitely take that. And we're going to keep putting that running back on that table out. So if they blitz, it's kind of like a hot read for us. But then if it's not, we can also we also can. Um, work our way back with, with we don't want to keep our running back in Ooh, i thought we had moss well i was gonna say we don't want to keep our running back in if they're only sending two so the way that it works is we can send the running back out as a quick read against pressure and then against non-pressure against like sending two or sending three it's just an extra read out there against the defense so it works for us in both ways now we have to be careful in throwing a lurk when they send pressure if they user it but as long as they don't use it, it should be a read on either play. So I'm not going to keep my running back in as much as, as we were before. And I'm, I'm going to quick hike here. I'm quick hiking, looking for this tight end. Ooh, we didn't get it open. We didn't get it open. Then we have the drag, though. Ooh, I don't know if we got that in bounds. This is a tough spot. We are in a fourth down and five. I think our team is probably tired, too. Okay, they're not tired. That's good. 
That is good. We are on a fourth and five. What they've been doing is playing a lot of man coverage. They've been having that middle deep blue to take away our skinny post. So what we're actually going to try to do here is try to, um, we're going to try to beat them on the sidelines. We're going to try to beat them on the sidelines here. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. But I think it could be there. I really do. And we're sending, like I said, we're going to send that running back out. That running back can be a read if they send pressure. But we're looking for Randy Moss on the sideline here. We'll see if we can get it. And we're going to have it. We're throwing it. Randy, Randy, we're going to rack it. Randy Moss, let's go. All right, we needed that because we were in a really difficult spot right there. So we're able to pick it up. Now we have to try to get seven though. Because we get to, if we take three, we took a decent amount of time on this drive. And we uh, then they kind of have time to clock us and get the, the game winning drive. So we'll see what we can do here. Oh, I thought we had that. Oh, we have Camara. Let's go, Camara. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Now we have to try to get a stop. Now we're going to have to try to get a stop here because we haven't played great defense against them. They've driven down us. They've done a great job of offense. Let's just put it that way. They've done. Oh, they, they might have had that post. They might have had that post when they got hit as they threw. We'll definitely take it. I was. Gonna, they've done a great job on offense all game. We haven't really stopped them. They've driven right down the field. We'll definitely take that. I thought they had that post too. I probably would have thrown it as well, but they got hit as they threw. That caused us to get an interception. All right, now we have a chance here to go up two possessions. If we can get seven on this drive, we're going to be in a great spot. Now, last time I was in this position, when I said we got a turnover and we have a chance to go deep, I threw an interception. I do not want to do that here, but we are looking to go deep to Randy Moss here. I expect him to maybe send some pressure, try to get the ball back quickly. They didn't. I think we have Moss. I think we have Moss. Oh no, we might not have Moss. I did it again. I did it again. We have deep in on Moss, so I kind of just trusted it. Maybe if I didn't lob it. Maybe if I didn't lob it. I can't. I, I did it again. I There's no way I should have done that. We did it before in the last game. We threw a pick when we just got to stop. And we get the ball right back, and we did it again. And that is not what we wanted to do because we've had so much trouble stopping them all game. But you know what? We made the mistake. Now we're going to have to try to live with it. Good tackle, Shanti. Now we're just, we're, we made the mistake already, right? We can't get that back. We have to try to get another stop right here. I'm watching Kamara out of the backfield here. No. Nope. On the slant. Oh! Oh, let's go. All right, we got a knockout. That actually wasn't the corner that was playing the route that they were throwing. That that route actually looked open, but the other player got pressed, so it caused the it caused that other corner to be there. So that's why they were able to make that play right there and get the knockout. We'll definitely take it third and 11 here. This is the biggest play of the game so far, I think. Oh, and they're doing the motion. So we're putting that purple out there. I've talked about this already. I put that purple out there to try to stop the corner out. He didn't do the corner out, but I'm watching for the running back. Shanti! Shanti! Can we make one person miss? We'll definitely take it. Let's go, Shanti! This looks like man coverage right here. We're looking for our running back or our slant, whichever one we have. I think we're going to have the running back. We're going to have the running back. Let's go, Kamara! Kamara with another big time play. All right, now we have our two possession lead. We have to try to get another stop right here. They're doing this motion again, so we're putting the purple back. And again, the running back is my responsibility. Oh, they're, they're going to have that slant. That's a nice That's a nice route combo right there. Really nice read. They took the slant. So you know what? We're, what we're going to do here is try to take away... The middle of the field with a with a three rack. We're not gonna put the purple there, regardless of motion or not. We're gonna put the three rack there. Oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no! This flip has actually messed up our adjustments a little bit. We only have a hook curl. That's okay. We'll just we'll make do with our adjustments here. We don't want to give up anything deep. They're gonna have that slant again. Oh, the, Simmons almost made a play right there. All right, this is probably going down to the fourth quarter. Yep, yeah, it's going down to the fourth quarter. We have to try it. If we don't get the stop, we want to try to make them take as much clock as possible. Those are the two things. If we get the stop, great. If we don't, try to make them take as much clock as we can. All right, now we're going to keep this three rack. Even though they motion, that's what I was saying on the play before. Even if they motion, we're going to keep the three rack. They haven't been doing that corner route. So I want to try to take away the middle of the field with that three rack, which it did, which I'm definitely happy about. Oh, no. Oh, I tried to pick. Oh, we we're able to get the pick. We we're able to get the pick. Let's go. Let's go. What a play from Deion Sanders. Now we just want to try to take some clock here. That's what we're looking to do. We're just looking to take some clock, run inside zone. We'll pass them on third. Now I'm going to, I'm going to chew clock right here. We'll go down to inside zone. And we're just going to try to take as much clock as we can. Once we get to a third down, we will pass the ball. But until that point, we'll just rock with this inside zone. And all right, now we're on a third down. Now we're on a third down. This is a big play here. If we're able to get this first down, we can take even more clock. I'll turn off chew clock here. If we get this first down, that's another uh 90 seconds or so that we can take off assuming everything stays in bounds and uh, assuming that they don't take timeouts so we're looking to get this uh first down here and we'll have our slant oh we have the post oh no we don't no we don't have the post oh that could have definitely have been a pick all right now we're not gonna put the ball away here we're not gonna put the ball away we're gonna go we're gonna go right back to that same exact play but we're gonna make a slight adjustment what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a streak on moss and I think it looked like it was a deep blue over there. If it was a flat, then that's okay. But we're going to put a streak there to try to push back any deep blues. Or if it's a uh, uh, man press, we can try to get that. 
No, it wasn't. It wasn't a deep loot. It wasn't a deep loot. Throw the ball away. Hopefully they pick it. Oh, Bo Jackson! Bo Jack! I was just throwing the ball so that we didn't take a sack, so that we didn't get, so that we didn't get a, a sack for giving it like 20 yards because it was 4,000. It was going to be their ball. And I, I'm so excited about that catch. I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's actually going to do it for the game. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. I hope I was able to coach up something, teach you all something during the chaos coaching. And if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. All right, huddle up. I'll see you all in the next one.